Yeah, live, live, live. Yada belly is live. Live in the kitchen. Live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yada belly is live. Yada belly alone is live. Can you do me a favor? Don't worry about it. I got it. Live, live, live. Yada belly is live. Live in the kitchen, live with the cooking, live, live, live. Yada belly is live. Yada belly alone is live. La 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 live. You know, you know, you know them style, eh, Josh. You don't know them style, eh? When is it? La 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 live. You don't even know, bro. Telling you, you don't even know. You, you don't know. Good evening, good evening to you, each and every one in their respective places. Good evening to Uno. See you after all these ads. <laughs> Denise, good evening. How are you? Yeah, we are here. We're here because we're here. All right, we're here. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I am just going to share this real quick. So give me a chance to share this. And if you know somebody who, who have um, diabetes or high blood pressure, this is a good video for them. If they love Jamaican food, but you know, after they eat it, they always struggle. Yeah, it, it's good to try this one. All right. So come join me in the kitchen for a creative way to make a Jamaican favorite dish. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. So guys, good evening once again if you can please share this um if you can you know whatever which way we can get it out there you know because i'm trying to do my best the link below to join me post all right awesome sauce and then you open back this and then you click live chat and you'll see everybody on the chat room. Joshua is here with me. Good afternoon. So Josh, you in charge of, the, of, of paying attention to the chat. All right, so let me just give you a little bit of heads up as to what I'm doing this evening. So first thing is I apologize for not coming on earlier um, this morning because I was supposed to be on this morning. Now, um, Joshua, when you see the video, do you see me going in and out with the light? Because it looked like, um, it looked like um, the light is fluctuating. So let me know if you see the light going in and out on me. Because to me, it's, it's, yeah. So I was supposed to be on this morning, but unfortunately, I did not get to come on this morning. So apologies. It is a rainy day here in PSL. And so um, I wanted to make my breakfast this morning and I didn't get to make my breakfast this morning. And I said to myself, I said, I'm going to make my breakfast. Whether or not, Josh, you're going to do me a favor. Take the light, put the light all the way back for me. Whether or not I get to eat it this morning. Thank you, Dennis. I'm trying to fix it because I have a spotlight on me and it seems like that's what's going on. Kim Kim, good morning to you. And get fit and done. Big up yourself, youth. So, I never get to make my breakfast this morning. I said, no, mommy, I make my breakfast, man. I said, nope, I am making my breakfast. That's what I'm going to do, make my breakfast. So, breakfast for dinner. Today, we are making aki and fresh fish, not salt fish, fresh fish. And I want to introduce you to this menu because, guys, we have to, we have to change it up a little bit and see if we can make use of, you know, um, turn around and make fashion because... The, the sickness thing is overtaking us, right? 
And if we don't take care of that, if we don't take care of body, we body not nah take care of we. So, yeah. All right. So let me show you what's going on real quick in my kitchen. And if you like what you see, please drop the thumbs up. Super chat. Anything you can, drop it on the thing because you know it got ready. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right, first and foremost, let me show you what I have here. I have some fresh cod fillets that are fresh fish. You can use cod, you can use um, um, snapper, you can use soy, you can use catfish. Whatever it is that you want to use, you can use it. But for this purpose, I am using some fresh cod fillet. This was frozen. I'm going to put it for tar, and that's what you have there. All right. Then I also have some aki right i get some aki from church yesterday but brother watson big up yourself brother water um brother owen him give me some aki and guys i said me nah me the aki i got to waste me i utilize it so i got up last night my boy the aki make sure my pick them you know the picking process is a little bit long and i have videos on how to pick your aki and how to clean up your aki so i'm not gonna i wasn't gonna go back through that long process all right but aki is jamaica's national dish for those who don't know and it is it is almost tasteless it absorbs the taste of whatever you cook it with and it is a fruit and it also gives a, a, a semblance of scrambled eggs once it is cooked the the, fle the flesh of the fruit is very soft when it's cooked it's almost it's it easily crushable it's, it's just like the consistency of scrambled eggs all right so this is aki now what i have done with the fresh cod is i have taken my fresh cut and broken it up into pieces like this and then i use some of my salt free um you know and and and, and type of you know um seasonings and herbs and 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 i use this one as well the jamaican fish seasoning from royal montego but with this guys this is the thing that makes this different from regular saltfish when you take regular saltfish and you desalinate it, you wash out all the salt out of it, it still carries a certain residual saltness that you have to be careful of. When you use this, you control the amount of salt. I could have gone with no salt at all and it still would have worked. But look at this. Try, uh, try big up yourself, try. Look at this. These are pieces of fresh fish, but you just tear them apart. You just take a piece like this, you know. And you can take it like and hold it like and just rip it. Just rip it and, and you see you see that? You see that? You know, I'm gonna use this for another recipe, but look at that guys. You can just rip it and look when you rip it. Look how it come it come out. Look there. Look there. You can just rip it up. You see me? And when you rip it up like that, you pretty much just take it and add it to your, you know, such like that. Alright, so how that look? That look like may make sense. And with this, again, you control the level of salt that you want to add to it. You can add Mrs. Dash. You can add different things like that. And again, you don't, <laughs> you don't have to worry about salt, high blood pressure, salt content, and all those things. All right? So that's what I wanted to emphasize because a lot of persons who suffer from diabetes or high blood pressure... They cannot eat the regular food because, it, again, the same problem. You know, it, it, it is salty and it pressure them, blood pressure and all that, those things. And so, you know, I wanted to present this to the guys. All right. And then I have some onion, garlic, scallion um, and a tomato because, you know, some people don't put tomato in them ackee and saltfish. But I have a tomato there. And that tomato here is going soft, so let me make it stay over that side. Eh? I already washed my onion and my garlic and my scallion, and so you pretty much just want to cut them up, you know, and you're gonna get your meal started. All right, the wifey is relaxing because she had to work, so I'm not gonna pressure her to, to really come join me in the kitchen. Joshua is hanging out in the kitchen. Joshua, how the, how the, the comments them ago? The charmer just got off work. Ladies, are there any foot rubber in the house? <laughs> what a charmer, what a charmer, what a charmer. Troy says he is. <laughs> well, I um, notice you said Troy says he is. What are you trying to imply? That he says he is when he's not? <laughs> I'm not going to call you charmer. <laughs> oh, oh, Josh, he ain't, ain't going to call you no charmer. You and me both, Joshua. Make him call himself that, right? <laughs> 
Big up yourself, try. <laughs> Rose Sewell Sewell says, I love this food. Thank you, Rose. Big up yourself, Rose. All right. <laughs> what other comments are there? Uh, Octavia B says, You should go on top. Octavia says, I should go on top. Boy, Octavia. I don't know. Let me end up and chop and then chop me. Suppose them chop me. But me that go still. Me that go. Me that go. It, it, it nothing beat a failure but a try, right? What do you think, Josh? I should go and chop? I don't know. I guess you have to. Somebody has to nominate you or something like that. Or you send them a message. I don't know. I could try. So, guys, me just have pretty much cut up my seasonings. Yeah? And these are quintessentially the Jamaican trio. You know, Jamaicans use these. Um, well, it's, a, it's not really a trio because Jamaicans have to add time to everything. Time and then scotch bonnet pepper. You know, but those the skelly and garlic and, and, and onion is pre pretty much where they start with. Natural hair namics sent $5. Natural hair namics sent $5. Mm -hmm. Big up natural hair namics, guys. Thank you so much for sending that, that, that super chat. And guys, if you have not yet followed natural hair namics, you need to start following natural hair namics. Especially those who have ear care issues, ear needs. Yeah? I may look at time, but I'm not seeing a time. Um, time is here somewhere, but I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Time is not on my side right now. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found the time. Can you show us how to make peanut butter porridge? I know how to make the regular one, but I love to know how to make the peanut butter or basically... Okay, whoever asked that, who, the, who asked that? Share cage. Okay, if you check in my in my um, breakfast live playlist, I am almost certain that we have done peanut porridge in that playlist. And so I don't want to steer you wrong. I would prefer if you check for me um, and just go in my in the playlist section of my channel and look under breakfast live, and you should see a host of different porridges that I have made. And I'm sure peanut is in it. All right. So I do hope that you get a chance to do that and comment in it and let me know that you have found it. Okay. So thank you so much for um, that <laughs> question. That's why he said lazy. Hmm? He said thank you, Joshua and Mr. Yardy Lily, for not carrying me charmer or charming. That's why I said lazy. <laughs> yes, sir, because we're not united with you. Prayer Kid, big up yourself. Thank you so much, Prayer Kid. We appreciate all the super chat. If you like what's going on, make sure say, you um, drop your little super chat in the, in the mix because we appreciate it. Every mickle makes a muckle. And as usual, um, Passionate for God is always dropping my, my cash up information because if you so choose, if you decide say you want it that way, you know, you can drop the cash up on us as well because... You know, Super Chat take a little portion of whatever. You know, YouTube have to take something out of every, every dollar we come in. Them have to take a little change. So, you know, if you say, yeah, send the thing straight to it, you know, cash up. Yeah. So, big up on yourself. I appreciate it. And this is just a way in which we can avoid certain illnesses, guys. I am so, I've become so aware of what I eat, what I consume because of this old diabetic scare that I was under in recent times. I am I'm not out of the woods yet, but at least I am doing better, you know, eating right, doing better. Sorry about the, the mess there, guys. Men are normally make mess like that, but hey, so it go. And for this meal today, I just cut this breadfruit that I had roasted in the oven, see there? So I'm going to cut it up and show you what I'm going with that. All right? Okay. I'm almost ready now, guys. I'm almost ready. Almost ready. 
Can I um, give you a predated super chat? I'm broke. Too <laughs> I suck. Who that want to do a predated super chat? Try. <laughs> try. Try, man. Try, man. Try. <laughs> All right. Let's get over here to where we are cooking. All right. So I have my, my pot on right there. Yeah. And I'm going to add some coconut oil. This is um, coconut and almond, and I'm adding about four tablespoons to the pot. Let me fix my, adjust my camera for you guys. All right, and I'm using my non-stick. It would be, it's best to try and use a non-stick, especially for this exercise. Why? Because you don't know how this card will react to the pot. You understand? So I'm going to just add my card now. And as I said, I adjust quickly seasoned my card with some regular herbs and spices and a little bit of fish seasoning and I had not be, I've been very careful about the salt content and that's the whole reason why I'm doing this because I want you guys to understand that it can be done with less salt so the idea that we the idea that we have to be eating salt fish it, it's it not it, it salt fish doesn't do anything at all for your body other than put you in more diabetic um, issues. So if you can avoid it as a main meal or, or as an addition to your meal, I would recommend that you avoid it. You get me? You did? All right. So I just saw the thing. Let me grab a spatula. I don't know where my spatulas have gone. I have spatula in many different colors. And all of a sudden, I can't find them. They have disappeared either. I understand so I just pretty much want to you know set your flame where you can manage this and you're gonna saute this to the point where it gets a little bit on the crispy side you know so that you can mimic as much as possible the salted cod that we are used to all right so this is what you're gonna do with this you're just gonna have it do its thing until it gets nice and crispy all right, not overly crispy, but just a nice consistency. So you can go with your, your aki good. You know, the, you know them way there. All right. Ah, I saw. With pet snake, I have no pet snake up here, you know. So I would I really like if another leave me alone and don't uh, come, come talk about no pet snake. <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> Pet snake. What kind of trouble making people these on this internet this month, this afternoon, man? Hmm? I don't have any pet snake. Alright, let me just this this breadfruit was um actually getting to the ripe stage. And I just put it in the oven. So now I'm just peeling my breadfruit. And breadfruit is again a Jamaican favorite staple. You know, when you have roast breadfruit, you have yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah you, you think about home, you think about your mother, your father, you think about family and gatherings and all of that when it comes to roast bread food. So, when we find one little one of foreign here, so we have to cherish it. You understand? And if you're in the PSL area, then you know where you can find it because Bravo and PSL Boulevard have, you know, every now and then you can get one roast bread food from Bravo. Yeah, so for those who are in my local neighborhood, you know, local area, yeah, no neighborhood around here, area, yeah, you can check out. Because we'd have to check that breadfruit, and true breadfruit price started up. The breadfruit just small, bad, but hey, it's gonna serve its purpose. And this is just me making a nice little meal for the wifey. Because I know she likes them something, yeah. I'm not really. I like my breadfruit when it um when it is roasted and fried. But she like roast breadfruit from a long time. Cause she a country girl, you know, she like the them type of things there. Like how she not out and make can talk, chatter, you know. Trace says lemon vinegar mixed with black pepper and garlic will take care of most of your sodium needs. Lemon Serves. vinegar? Yes. Serves as a great Vinaigrette for your salads. Okay, awesome. 
All right, man, hurry up because my, my, my fish up on the stove. I'm gonna make sure I say my fish are doing thing right, you understand? So once again, guys, you can use whatever fresh fish you may find. May, fillets are better. You know, okay, you don't really want to use your, your, your regular fish. You know, your, 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 your big fish for, 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 for that. Unless you really love ackee and saltfish that way. I, I, you know, you really want to step out like that. But if you can find an inexpensive fish fillet, you know, um, if you can find organic, you know, you can go with that. If not, you just, you know, turn your hand and make fashion, okay? Turn your hands to make fashion. That's my advice all the way. All right, so there is my breadfruit. It's not all that pretty, but it's nice and almost ripe. Really nice. Oh, I'm going to go find, I'm going to eat some other breadfruit here, man. Breadfruit here tastes good. You know, Josh? Let me show you what's going on here, so now, back to my pot, and guys, look at this, look at that, my fresh cut is doing wonderful, wonderful, and if you notice, it cut down, when it's fried, it, 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 it get shrink a little bit, you know, nice, this is awesome, and this is just about ready, make sure, that's why I told you to make sure you get a non-stick, so that you know, and it smells beautiful. It smells nice because of the coconut um, oil. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. I am so happy with it. All right. Now I'm going to add my onion. I'm going to add my... And I, I'm ex excuse me for a minute, guys. I can't really see the comments. I'm going to add my thyme. And my comment here, my commentator has gone. Him run off, leave me. Yeah. Oh. Let me know what's being said, please. I'm gonna add my scallions and my garlic. Oh, you say everything already. Alright, cool. Wow, that looks just like Awesome. This is how you do it, guys. And you just make sure you monitor your blood sugar level. Make sure you monitor your sodium intake. You know? Because things, things and times is, is of such that if you're not in an optimal health nowadays, you can easily clock out, you know? A sort of thing set now, you know, guys. If you're not in a good health nowadays and watch your sodium and watch your intake, you know? You can easily clock out. Some people who you never start would have had um, adverse health situations or some of the people that fight in it now. You know, let me try a piece of this, let me taste this. Yeah, awesome. Mm -mm. Tastes good, yeah. Tastes real good, guys, real good. You don't miss the salt or the sausage. Big up yourself, um, Sheer Cage. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate your, your gesture. And um, I don't know what's going on with my cash app. It's supposed to be accepting everything. So maybe we just have to tweak the, the, the title. The, the, it's Send to Hope. You know, in one word, Send to Hope. And um, thanks once again for your amazing gesture of a super chat i appreciate you all right now i'm adding in my tomato yeah just add a little tomato right there very very big up yourself i'm adding a little bit of butter and this is real butter, guys. When I have my butter and I don't... You know, when the butter them coming at a little... Um, what do you call it? Like, like a little grease paper. Sometimes I put it in my chiffon butter container. You know, because I have a chiffon butter container here. I got chiffon butter at Presidente in Miami. 
and I save the container. So when I time I have real butter, I just add it to it. It's chiffon. Chiffon. A chiffon. I want to the youth here. Listen, a chiffon, regular chiffon. I want to the youth here. Man say chiffon. You think I'm French? <coughs> eh? A chiffon that name my youth. Chiffon butter. I want to you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome sauce, me say awesome sauce. Oh, the food is awesome sauce. Awesome sauce, me say awesome sauce. Oh, the food is awesome sauce. The and fresh cut up sauce. Hey! Does zucchini bread taste good, Josh? Um. And guys, I promise you, if you have seniors that you're taking care of, this is a perfect way to, eat, to give them a, a nice taste of the Jamaican national dish without overdoing it, pressure in the people them stomach. Yeah? Look at that now. Look at that. 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 All right, so now before I turn my ackee, before I do anything to my ackee, I'm gonna make sure I season my pot again. And again, I'm using a little bit of my fish seasoning. Why? Because it has more than one ingredient and it have less salt. All right. Then I'm using some garlic powder. Garlic powder. I'm a garlic powder I almost run out. Thank God I get two super chat. I can buy garlic powder. Yeah. Using some garlic. Yeah, me just finish up my garlic powder. Come like garlic, eh? Okay? Use up my garlic powder. I also have onion powder and this is just dehydrated onion. My wife don't really like it, but me, me like it. It's it have good flavor. I am using some cayenne pepper. If you notice, I did not put Jamaican um, scotch bonnet in it because the wife don't like it. And again, the key time for the wife is with this delicious dish. I am using a little bit of Old Bay, and Old Bay is probably the only ingredient that I'm using right now where I have salt. Yeah? And it's not that much, I promise you guys. So you have to watch that in moderation. Oh my god, the cast, the cast in. I make them cast me like fish. Alright, and I'm have some black pepper, and again, your black pepper is up to you. The amount of black pepper that you use. Alright. So once I have it like this now, guys, then you're gonna just simply take your time and fold in your acid. Because if you if you overdo it, you're gonna break them up. And you just want to fold in your acting out. Look at that. How this look? It don't look like real acting or selfish. Hmm? Look at that. Alright, and you want to turn your stove down. Now you have to work on giving it a little bit of gravy. You understand? Not, not really say gravy, 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 you know, but you know you want it to have a nice little, little blend. So this is where you start to get creative. Let me see if I can find my my um where is my oh that's not your memory which kit? So, <laughs> take her off of the channel, that's what. Take her off of the channel, because she don't want no ketchup. No ketchup to the thing. Naturally, you know, it's mine, but people them come for you, you know, because they're not supposed to be talking about ketchup on the channel. No sorry, Bob. All right, I have my homemade pepper sauce right here, and I'm going to add a little bit. Like, oh, she's not here, she can't tell me nothing. Eh? What? 
What extra? The extra fish? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna cook that um, as fish fillet. All right. I'm gonna just add a little bit of my pepper sauce. Yeah. And I'm gonna use a little, a little water. We call this water. Yeah, a little water. You want it just sata. Yeah, because remember now you know, you're making this thing with, with, with breadfruit, so the breadfruit has to carry a certain amount of juice. You understand? Yeah. Have to carry a certain amount of juice. Okay? So you add a little water. Yeah? And you shake him a little bit. And then you have to add my light when my thing of little spice and little stuff on the top, you know, it not looks away. So I have a little mixed herbs right here. Just some little mixed herb, parsley, dill, little things like that. You know, dried herbs, I'm gonna mix everything together like a proprietary type of vibe. Come and like it that way, you know. And I add some of that to it. Yeah. And if you had if you had apple cider vinegar or anything like that, ABG, you could have add some vinegar. But me can't oh me find it. I found the vinegar. Guys, work with me, I'm at because you will live in a new house, yeah. Me not know enough of the things them there. So you know me have to work, you have to work with me, okay guys? So I take a cap full of my vinegar and I'm gonna go with two capfuls. And vinegar is excellent probiotic. So good for your body and your structure. Yes man. Alright. And look on that. Look on that. Guys, trust me. Josh, run go for your mommy um cell phone for me. Cause me if you take two pictures. Yeah, and my phone incognito. Yeah. And this glass, guys, I wanna clean this glass counter something. I have to leave it, make sure you clean it in a can. This glass counter, glass cooking thing, I, I give me a warm time, cause, you know, sometimes you say you want good and then you know the whole run. Mm hmm. Oh, it look. It look good. She's some um, aesthetic beer. I'm vegan, what do I do? Okay, now, if you go, go into my vegan playlist, you will find this very same meal, but instead of the fish, I have used um, mushrooms to recreate this whole entire dish. And so it gives you the same vibe, the same taste, classic Jamaican taste, but with mushrooms instead. Just go into my playlist and you will see that beautiful Aki with mushrooms. And I promise you guys, you're, you, when you use mushrooms in this way, you do not lose anything in terms of flavor and taste. All right. So I'm sending all my vegans to my vegan playlist to search for Aki and mushroom. Type in Aki and mushroom Yadi Belly TV and you will find it as you search. So look at that man, jeez, um, aki and fresh cod, yeah, look like aki and saltfish, don't it? But no salt to it. So if you're diabetic, you can eat it. If you have high blood pressure, you can have it. Yada Belly TV, yes, that's how we do it, man, look at that, look at that. And guess what we are serving this up with? Roast bread fruit, me say roast bread fruit, serving it up with roast bread fruit. Yeah, man, but guys, I promise you. I promise you. You know me have to take my little picture and my thumbnail. Look how that look good. Yeah. And then you just basically want to take your, your cover and you want to cover that and just let that do its thing right there. Mm-hmm. And then while that is doing its thing, I am going to grab a plate and see if I can do a quick presentation. You know it already. Passionate for God says, like those vegan videos too. Please put, give us a thumbs up on all the vegan videos because I promise you I have gone to great lengths to make sure that I present this food as authentic as I can, uh, you know, to my Jamaican roots, but as authentic as I can to the non-meat eaters that are watching me on my channel. And a lot of delicious meals are out there. But not many 
will you know at least give you that that home vibe not many will try to mimic that home vibe for you so that's where i'm coming from with my thing and i do appreciate all those persons who give me a nice thumbs up on it and everything and everything all right so trying to put these um breadfruit on the plate so that the wife will like it you feel so shall i like it josh I you know she like breadfruit, huh? Um, guys, the breadfruit almost ripe, so it's just like, ah, it just tastes so good. It's sweet. And breadfruit was brought to Jamaica by Captain Morgan. I saw them say, right? And the first place breadfruit went to in Jamaica was St. Thomas. Yes, St. Thomas. At, um, there's a botanical garden in St. Thomas that the first breadfruit tree was planted in Jamaica. So if you like breadfruit, it's coming from it have history it have history mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. red food not just so 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 you know just come come drop so yeah okay, captain morgan let me show you again the breadfruit breadfruit you want breadfruit now tell me if you want breadfruit breadfruit you want breadfruit now tell me if you want breadfruit and we got 36 minutes what we're doing pretty well ain't eh, josh yeah if I get it, $15 a plate. $15 a plate. Hey. Hey. $15 a plate for this one. Yeah. So if you never know, now you know. So I prepare my breadfruit right there, sir. And let me see if I can find two more. How much more? more this one more breadfruit. Don't try. You feel like you want more breadfruit on that plate, yeah. But the wife is the breadfruit person, so when she come out, she will decide. All right, and then I just wash them to me to here, and I just have to cut it up. Don't bring it from down, bread, brother. Me gonna need it. She oh, she was watching it. Tell her to come out of her room. I that she need to do. You understand? I need it to take two more picture. Yeah, trying my best to be creative, guys. Yeah, you ever hear about creative cooking? Mm -hmm. And that, that's what we're doing here creative cooking. Heard each week on TVJ. It look awesome already. It look awesome already, guys. Watch it. Between me and no, this is somebody are coming up, guys. Somebody a come. I never call nobody, but them a come. Watch out, watch out. Them the, the appear they now go work, you know, my girl. The appear they now go work because the appear they would have uh, spoiled up my thing. If I open the appear, then the appear they no good. I can't back down at the place and trip on them. Because I didn't need that thing that they want to get All right, guys, I'm doing, I'm washing some parsley. And I'm gonna use it as part of my presentation. All right. So let me just put down this parsley right there for now, because it shall be part of my presentation. 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 Ah. So I have crushed red peppers. Oh, you saw? No. I crush red peppers and parsley. Um, Troy says what? I crush red peppers and parsley. Crush red peppers and parsley? To do what? To make what? For the plate. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, I got it now. Ah, the, the boy talk so funny that I didn't even understand what I said. Sure. Paprika. And we are ready to serve. Ready to serve, Mister. Ready to serve. Ready to serve, Mister. Ready to serve. Look on that man. Look on this. Look on this, my girl. Oh, it look. Mm -hmm. You look good. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, we don't the ketchup. Sure, where is that about the ketchup? I you know, ketchup not being a thing. No ketchup to me thing. You understand? No ketchup to my thing. How this look, guys? Look on this. They are nice. Look on. They are nice. Look on. Dinner. Yeah. And again, I have enough juice in you know, a bit. Go and look on more juice, but, but leave it alone. It can pass. Yeah. How this look, guys? Tell me how it look. Passionate for God say it look good. That are the first. Passionate, from passionate say look good, that's it. Trust me. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because passionate know her thing. She know her thing. She know when something look good. Why try to say you can't eat it? Because it's a mushroom allergy. It's not a mushroom and I try. Where would I have to eat it? This is fresh cod with aki and saltfish. Well, <laughs> it's fresh cod with aki. Trying to mimic aki and saltfish. Yeah? Trying to mimic aki and saltfish, guys, with dumpling, with the metal foolish is not breadfruit. Breadfruit? Mm -hmm. You want breadfruit? Okay. Yeah, aki and fresh cod. So, so cod can withstand a lot of um. Manipulation because it don't break apart. Yeah, exactly. And it does it does um come out like it's salted already. So yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, and the roast breadfruit is sweet, baby, and it's soft. I know you're gonna like it. I know you're gonna like it. Yeah. You know? So am I a good husband? Mm -hmm. I'm doing well. Mm -hmm. You like me? Love you. Jesus. <laughs> I just need some lemonade. You want lemonade? Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Jesus. Mm, guys, she said she loved me. And she said it want lemonade. Mm. <laughs> she loves me now. And that just means I can't complain. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. She loves me now. And I must admit, I feel the same. Ooh, ooh, boo, 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 boo. Ooh, boo, 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 boo. Eh? To be you this time when the rain start far. Uh oh, uh oh. No, you want pastor run me out of the church. <laughs> look what she do now, guys. Eh? You see it? A trouble she looking up. A trouble she looking at the evening, you know, guys. You see what I do good and somebody come out here, come hot up my head now, guys. Eh? Look how she come hot up my head now. Take one of this because I send it to Red Stripe. Red Stripe, me if it's fancy. Away. Come, take one picture of this. No, sir. She hot up my head. Mm -hmm. eh? In the evening, yeah. look how she shake her. You see what she do? You see what she do? Shake it. Eh? After me, I try my best to behave myself. Eh? Living a godly life. Eh? She just come, come, hot up me head. Hmm? No, sir. No, sir. Watch them now. Watch this one and now. No, sir. After me, I do my best. Eh? Behaving myself. Thinking about little lemonade. Look where she pop out out of the fridge. Eh? Like she want her top made with my aki and fresh cod. Yeah. And guess what? If you want your blood pressure go down, you know. The red stripe work too, you know. Red stripe bring down pressure, you know. So I can tell you, it is a match made in heaven. For all my diabetic and my blood pressure persons, this is a good way to enjoy the Jamaican national dish without that extra salt. And a good way to relax and refresh yourself after our day's work. I saw the thing said, mm-hmm. I'm going to ask you if that's pepper sauce in the background. Yes, passionate. That is my pepper sauce, my homemade pepper sauce right here. And let me tell you something. It's at ya. It's at can done. At 
like 21 fireside. Lady, you come over here so come try the food. Come, come try the food. Try it, try it. The people don't want you try it, see. Come on. Me just show your, 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 your mouth alone. Me not show your head. Me not show your face. Me not show your lips. Me just show your mouth. Hmm? That's not fair though. After they spend the whole time watching us make it, you don't want to try it. You see that guy? That's so terrible. That's a terrible, terrible response. Yeah. Terrible response. See? The bread food, yeah? Mmm. Oh my lord. Mm. Oh my lord. Mm -mm. Bread food tastes good as you share, kid. Bread food tastes so good. <laughs> Come here. In the background, I jump up and down like chicken. And see, my aki and fresh cod. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm. This is not fair. Them should have smell of vision and taste of vision. I'm telling that. Mm -mm. I don't need taste of vision in my life. Don't judge my hair. It's being washed today. Good excuse, good excuse. Mm. Mm. Taste the bread food, but the bread food is sweet and nice, babe. Mm. Wow. Wow. Now good you, don't it? It tastes nice and buttery. Jeez, no thanks. That means I'm away. Butter, butter, salt, mustard, vinegar, pepper, butter. <laughs> Oh, no, sir. This works well to No, your food share out right here. So, no, look here, guys. Watch her. Look on somebody over the pot. Watch her. Your food share out right here. Hmm? Using some honey. No, sir. Mm -mm. This is something that I want to introduce you to if you have not yet used it. It's um, a liquid amino acid. And amino acid is very, very good in building, you know, um, energy for your body and all these things. And, and it does carry a certain level of sodium. It's not super salty, but it is a good salt substitute. So let me show you how you apply the, 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 um, the liquid amino. All right. So say for some salt, you just take your liquid amino and squirt. See that? Just simply squirt it over your food and you get salt so this is something that you can also consider out there guys if you are you know some of those persons who are controlling your diet or you know what you eat and 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 how you eat it all right and the wife the wife grab lemon libby good evening to you good evening to you we have made the jamaican national dish which is aki and saltfish uh, but instead of using salted cod, we have used the fresh cod fillets. I have some right there. Um, these are readily available on the market, frozen fillets. And so I've used that to recreate this dish so that persons that have diabetes, high blood pressure, and all those maladies can enjoy the Jamaican national dish as well. All right. So the cod is not salted at all. The cod is fresh. It is um, fresh from frozen and I just made it to look like salted cod, all right? So with the fresh cod, you do get um, omega-3, omega that, that is found in fish. You do get that in your diet and all the other nutrients that is found in regular frozen or fresh fish. When, it's, when the fish is salted and the process of salting the fish, it, it basically take out no more something. It take out... It, the, the salted fish take out, it take out everything out of it. So you're just basically eating um, carcass. But when you are eating fresh fish, you have all the nutrients just the same. And that's what I have given you guys an opportunity to enjoy the Jamaican Aki with, you know, less risk to your health. All right? I love it. It look good. Don't you like it, babe? Love it, love it. 
Trust me. And this is the wifey's plate. I had to decorate it nicely because you know it's my wifey and I care about her. I research about her and I look her up. And of course, she run out with the red stripe for show off. Run, she run out with the red stripe, you know. You know where you could have add to it? You could have added a shandy. I'm making shandy. Why would I add a shandy? Oh. So why you make shandy? But, 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 but you understand these people, you know, for you to drink some like a lemonade. Eh? You boy, you can't make shandy. Hmm? Show your show off my alta for my red stripe. I'm going to need the spiritual guidance, you know. You understand? The red stripe give me enough spirit, you know. Yeah? That me I tell you, you know. What a wonderful thing, a very wonderful thing to be eating aki and bread fruit in our new kitchen. Cause it nice and ting. What a wonderful, wonderful thing. Come to me, come to Papa. Ooh, come to Papa. Wait. Hold on. I don't want it burn me. She's so good. Make you want to slap your mama. Or your wifey. Guys, my um, host registry is in the link. And of course, that gift in the background, that nice, beautiful clock was sent to us by one of our subscribers. And it matches our color perfectly. I'm going to do a live on show, not giving a watch show of my home. Just do a, re a reveal. Of the home, kind of see the, the other, the, you know, not see the old picture already. I'm mean, have to show the old house, but that not come yet. So, thank you guys for all those who persons who have given us anything or, or made a purchase on our um, home registry. We appreciate you, we really do. We appreciate everything because we never go to nothing for put on. James all said, I see a red stripe in the background. Company was sold to an American investor who then manufactured in the US the quality of the beer gone down. Hey. No, sir. That's why they no one call me. That's why they no one call me, and they need to call me to sponsor them. But like one of Jamaican own it again. It no, me no bother. I feel it too much. So. Hmm? Oh, somebody asked me a question. Let me see that question. Libby, okay. It depends on where you're going. Because South Florida is very diverse, uh, diverse eco, eco ecology, ecologically, um, geographically, socially, economically, it's very diverse. And so your consideration has to be one that it fits in the framework of where you want to go. Presently, we are in PSL, which is Port St. Lucie, and uh, that area is a beautiful residential area. Port St. Lucie has great infrastructure, and I'm so happy that we did finally move here. Hollywood, which you're thinking about, is also a great place. The economic climate in Hollywood is of a higher standard of living. Uh, things may cost a little bit more in Hollywood, see? It depends. In, in, in it depends Florida, on where you're going. Yeah, in South Florida... It, Housing is more expensive. Yeah, housing is more expensive. Um, Depending on where they're moving from, they might have to take a pay cut because Florida is not really a high paying Yeah, Florida, again, the wife, you have all of the, the T's and the, the P's and the Q's dotted. Um, Hollywood, there are several areas of Hollywood that also requires you to do a deep investigation because you can go from the extreme um, lower end of the scale in terms of residential area to the extreme high end of the scale um, as it relates to residential area. Now, Hollywood is, is, is side by side with Pembroke Pines, which the cities change based on the direction that you go. For instance, Miramar changes to Hallandale. 
Hollywood changes to Pembroke Pines. And so um, you have to know where exactly you're thinking about um, relocating to. Portions uh, of it is touristy too. Yeah, portions of it is touristy. There is, a, there is an, a, an area that is highly commercialized. And so all of those factors will determine um, how well you like it, how well of a stay you have, how you enjoy, you know, how you, you um, trans, your trans, the transportation aspect of it, um, a whole bunch of stuff. You have to do your research, as I said before. Um, there are some areas that are predominantly Caucasian. There are some areas that are predominantly Hispanic. There are some areas that are predominantly Haitian. And there are some areas that are, well, predominantly Jamaican for some, for, to, to, a, to an extent. Jamaicans have found themselves in almost every single area because we are that type of person. We don't, Jamaicans, I've noticed, don't generally congregate. We will live wherever we are comfortable and Jamaicans are very flexible. So you will find a Jamaican in the, in the most highest of neighborhoods and a Jamaican in the lowest of neighborhoods. That's just who we are. So once you, once you are there, you're good. Again, um, Hollywood has its, its professional areas, commercial areas. Um, and I don't know about resident, re residing in those areas if it's best, because again, with commercial areas come zonings and other issues, parking and other issues. All right. So, um, Hollywood, Florida is sandwiched between Daytona. No, 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 no. There is. The, the Hollywood, Florida that is in Daytona is not the city. I don't know if it's been a city. city. The city of Hollywood is in South Florida. Um, that is between Pembroke, between um, Dana, Dana and Hallandale. All right. So, so Hollywood is between Dana Beach and Hallandale in South Florida. So if there's another Hollywood, Florida, I don't know of that one. Um, but when you come up central Florida, when you go up to like Orlando is, is a little bit central Florida, just between North, Northern and central Florida. Um, you know, um, yeah, if you're gonna go Ocean Boulevard in Hollywood, you are, you, yeah, you are, um, you are, it's gonna be hard. Tamarack is a beautiful city and Tamarack is on the Western side. And so it is less trafficy. It is more residential as well. Um, Orlando is the tourist and then resident. It's, 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 it's one extreme. It's one extreme to the next. What, again, I, am in, I have just recently moved to Port St. Lucie, and I can only give accolades so far. Our experience here is one that is, it's a little bit on the laid back side. It's just between, it's just, just about an hour and a half from everywhere. And that is good because you get to drive in and drive out if you need to. Um, it is close to the beach, but it's far from the beach. You get what I mean? And, and it's close to Jensen Beach. It's close to Palm City. It's close to Vera Beach. It's, an, it's two hours from Orlando. It's it, uh, two hours, uh, hour, hour from Miami, an hour and a half from Miami. So it's really nice. And I can only um, give accolades for now. Tamarack is worth checking out because Tamarack, is, as I said, on the west, a western side of South Florida, it is just... Um, top side Pembroke Pines and it's just below Margate and Coral Springs um, and it's just um, west it's just east of Western and Sunrise and those areas um, highly residential but it's still close enough we're in Florida our flexible Jamaican women <laughs> try <laughs> Try been on your way. I'm gonna with you. You have to go um higher layer for the flexible woman name. <laughs> mm. James, you need listen. James, do me a favor, right? Contact all your friend them with in a PSL and make sure so them subscribe to Yard Belly, all right? Because Yard Belly is gonna be doing stuff in PSL that people need to know about, all right? I'm telling you that. But guys. Once again, we want to thank you. Our time is basically gone and I want to keep it under an hour. Thank you guys for watching me today. We do appreciate each and every person that watched us and that subscribed to our channel. Keep the notifications bell rung so that you can always know when we are live again. This is just a last look at the meal that was created today. Yeah. 
we did Aki with fresh cod. For those persons who are diabetic or have high blood pressure, they can get involved as well. Don't, don't watch the Red Stripe. The Red Stripe are just the wifey um, addition. This is the meal for today. And remember, we are live again on maybe tomorrow evening. Tomorrow, Wednesday. Let's see. If you keep your notification bells wrong, you will always be aware when I'm live. All right? So we're going to we'll put some food out there and make sure so everybody love it. We just did a, a delicious porridge for breakfast and we are planning to do more. Devona, good evening to you once again. Devona, you know it already, you know Devona. Cha. Devona. All right. <laughs> and once again, guys, thank you for watching. Remember, as always, live and laugh, cook and eat. Make sure you call Red Stripe. I posted their corporate number. And again, thank you very much. Try, try. Remember, my sister-in-law work for them in the middle call her. You think I'd show? And of, of course, guys, our new home registry is right there on in the in the description box, and it is there in the chat room. Press a link now and see if you, you can, you know, pick up something for Yard Belly TV. Send it our way. We respect you and appreciate you. All my Jamaican folks logging on from Yard, big up on a self. Share my page. I really want to get into my Jamaican community a little bit more. So share it, like it, subscribe to it. And of course, Aki and Saltfish finger licking. Yam banana with the dumpling. A breadfruit and a to it. Yes. It tastes good. No salt, no. In a it, it good for your blood pressure. If you're diabetic too, you can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Blessings, 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 blessings.